What is going on? What is going on here? Hmm. <laughs> That's right, guys. Back at it with the fuel system, and we've got some great information. <laughs> some info I picked up from the old interweb and some friends out there. So you can see I've got a different fuel filter up underneath here. That is a kind of like a cheap one you can pick up from Evil Energy. They're the same people I use for all my fuel lines and stuff. And you can see I got a bucket full of fuel here. I already drained the tank. Yep, I already drained the tank. Lots of comments out there from you guys, which I really do enjoy. I appreciate the comments down in the description every uh, other video. Some advice on some things possibly to do, and some things I'm going to go with, some things probably not. Uh, right after this intro, guys, we're going to get into some great content on fuel filters, different types of fuel filters to use with your uh, Volkswagen, whether that's an EFI build or a stock type build. We're going to talk about both of those. Pressure is a big difference. With an EFI build, right now I'm kind of maintaining around 43.5, which is what the injectors need at the head of the injector to be able to operate correctly. And what I'm seeing is when I throttle up or I, you know, need more demand with fuel, that pressure's dropping. So how do you fix that? Right after this intro, guys, get into some great content. Woo, we'll see you in a second. Hey guys, well, welcome back. We're about to pull the tank. Like I told you, it's pretty much drained out. I got some fuel down in the filters below, but uh, yeah. Gotta go ahead and get this all loosened up so we're ready to rock and roll. Okay guys, now that we got the filter removed from the bottom side, the one that I installed, instead of the uh, Edelbrock filter, you know this one that I recommended to you guys in the last video, which this is still a good filter if you're doing, I would say, a non-EFI system. Like if you wanted to put this in line and you wanted a filter that you can clean out that is pre-carburetors, like at the back side of your car and a stock setup, because most of you guys have like one of these, right? One of these set up right above the transmission, or you've removed it from the engine bay area, or maybe it's still in the engine bay, which uh, if you post anything showing that on uh, the Facebook groups or anywhere else, the Samba or whatever, you're going to get all kinds of people pissed at you. <laughs> because these filters are not made the way they used to be made. They're pretty flimsy, and they, they can break under heat, and that's the problem. These seals right here can come apart, and fuel can start coming out and you don't want fuel in your engine bay so that's why people relocate these bad boys to the right above the transmission area like in this photo right here i'm going to show you guys in a photo right here of what i'm talking about see what i mean see these get relocated to there and what i did in my 2276 naturally aspirated my na engine that i had i relocated my filter there as well but i used a canister setup because i didn't know that they made these cool ones that already had the 6an male fittings on them which is pretty sweet so still a good buy if you're looking for something to put in line if you're running all an lines which i had all an lines running on my old engine build then you're good there some of the upgrades that i see from this filter is just a regular metal canister which is it's good it's better it's sealed you're not gonna have any problems but i always like the idea of being able to see the fuel which you know you don't really see that in these other filters either but i do see it in my fuel regulator my air motor fuel regulator. What this is, is a filter screen for a glass filter setup that's got like two ends that screw together, kind of like this one, but not very safe at all. And some of you guys like to use that one out there as well. Photo right here for reference. Yes, this one right here. 
not if don't I don't recommend them because I did run it for like I don't know about a week or two and the vibrations inside the engine compartment caused that thing to start to loosen up and it would always loosen up and I always had issues with it leaking too which was no good so these ones I don't recommend these filters let's get them off the screen no bueno no bueno get off the, get off the screen man oh god Lord. okay so what we have here are just what we call canister type filters or you know Cleanable filter elements. These are more of the canister type. You'll, you'll see what I mean here in a second. This is just a cleanable filter element. And you guys have seen this before. We already opened this up and kind of shown it off. And it has this little like quarter size element that uh, actually causes a restriction. And you get a fuel pressure drop because of this thing. I didn't know that. But this is how you live and learn. What we have here is a filter element type. This is a canister filter element type. A paper one that actually is only good for standard fuels. You can't run this with E85 because it will break down and get into your fuel system and that's just no bueno. So the next step up is this one right here, this filter element, which is a 100 micron, which allows quite a bit of stuff fuel to get through there. It's a 100 micron filter element. Ooh, that's really on there. So you have this filter element here, which does not guarantee a PSI drop. They, they will not tell you exactly what kind of PSI drop you're gonna get. Plus it has nitrate, or the black type of O-rings inside of it, which uh, can break down over time with uh, E85. I replaced the uh, Viton or Viton uh, uh, with Viton O-rings on the outside, but uh, I didn't have O-rings to replace these ones. So this is the element that I put in there, but I was still having some pressure issues, not anything crazy. So that's why I went gonzo, like I normally do, once I've exhausted all other means, trying to save a little dough, and spent, this one's about 150 bucks, on this air motive system that allows me to put a canister, a true canister filter element. And that bad boy is pretty sweet. There is quite a difference in size, and when I look at the construction, this is a lot nicer. Very nice, and it's got the E85 compatible O-rings already in there. This is a nice setup that guarantees one PSI or less pressure drop when it comes to your fuel system. So this is what we're doing. We're mounting this, and this is why I'm pulling the fuel tank out so that I can make sure that all my plumbing is correct. I'll bring you guys back in a second once I go ahead and get this kind of like mocked up where I want it to be. See you in a second, guys. Before we move on, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this content if you're enjoying it, which I know you guys are. We have over 7K now. That's awesome. I'm going to give a big shout out to my boy out there, Slades. BW just hitting 10k way to go man way to stick with it I know in the beginning of this whole thing you guys were you were in and out and uh, had some issues with uh, whether or not you're gonna stick with it but I'm glad you did buddy and I saw that your kids were a good motivation to that so that's awesome so go over to Slade's Beetle and check him out as well all right guys now back to the video okay okay all right so general idea of where the new filter is gonna be mounted also, something else that I'm doing is uh, the inlet side of the pump, and from the tank, we're going to an 8AN, which is substantially larger when it comes to the amount of fuel coming into the pump. Go ahead and just uh, change out the fittings. The pump actually came, sorry about the bounciness, guys, sorry about the bounciness. The pump actually came with an 8AN, and I had to order a... 6 a.m. separately. I'm using some red, red Loctite on this bad boy to hold it in place. Some guys are cool with that, some aren't. You probably don't need it because it's got the little crush washer here, but uh, I just do it as a preventative measure. I don't care. I'll pull the pump if I have to to remove the fitting if that ever happens, which I don't think it's ever going to happen. From the tank, I'm going to show you that real quick too. From the tank, this uh, inlet side here, you can pick up this, this conversion, this uh, goes right to the gas tank to a 6AN, but I picked this up, uh, all it does is go from a 6AN to an 8AN on the outlet, and when you look inside of it, it was actually about the same size, so it was pretty well uh, opened up on the 6AN, so that's cool. Alright guys, she's all mounted in. I went ahead and used some touch-up paint for uh, the holes that I put into my firewall, not firewall, but you know, the front bulkhead. Just some uh, touch up paint, some duple color that I picked up from uh, one of the auto parts stores. And uh, now it's time to go ahead and dress in the lines. It's going to be a 90 up out of here, because this is the outside, the output side. A 90 up out of here. The line's going to come down up underneath the filter and then swoop around 
into the pump. I gotta figure out if I need to use a 90 here or if I can get away with like a something else. This is a 45. I don't think that's gonna cut it. I'm probably gonna have to use a 90 there too. So, yeah. More to come, guys. Let me go ahead and get to it and I'll bring you guys back in a little bit and show you where we're at. Okay, 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 guys. <laughs> Had a little pause and play there because I had to actually order another 90 to get this thing to fit right or to get it to do what I needed to do. So there is our fitting right here that's going to come over to the gas tank. I think that it is right. I don't think I'm going to have to trim it any. I might have to do some uh, some finagling with it, but we'll see. I'll drop the gas tank on here and see where we're sitting at. And there is my outline that goes down and around and into the pump. So I'll bring you guys back in a second once I get the tank back in. There you go guys, all buttoned up, all in here. Now we got those dash eight feed lines for the pump. We should take care of uh, any fueling issues to the backside of the pump. Kind of curious to see how it acts now with the new stuff. I'm gonna get it all filled up, fired up, and see how she's running and kind of go from there. That is probably gonna be it for today, guys. It's getting kind of late on a Sunday night and I gotta get to bed because the gym 5 a.m. time is coming soon. No leaks, guys. No leaks. Yeah. Well, that's all we got for today, guys. All we got for this weekend. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Don't forget to check out the website over here. All kinds of cool stuff. New merch coming soon. <sighs> Thanks to all the new subscribers, guys. Appreciate you. See you in the next one. This is Jason with Dre W Class BW, and I'm out. Definitely still got some sort of stutter issue, but I can tell that it's better. <laughs> Fix it one thing at a time, man. I guarantee you it's not a fuel problem anymore. Hey!